hello friends today we are going to learn PV light and we are going to design pressure vessels as per SMA section 8 division 1 as a new user we should know what are the parameters we should set before starting the design as you can see our PV light screen is already In the set configuration screen we can see there are different lines which we can select or unselect as per our requirement first we'll try to understand the selected lines and then we'll try to understand what are the lines we normally require during our design first line was round thickness to the nearest nominal size we understand what exactly it means and so it is required in our uh, design so we ticked it print equation and substitution this is also required so we take it use Eisen solver normally Eisen solver equation is required when uh, there is a vertical vessel and there is a skirt on mounted on it right now we are designing the horizontal vessel we may not require this equation then also we take it as a default parameter then the next one is for ACME section 8 cell head joints are tapered so it we understand from this line what exactly it means the next point is for ASME section 8 1 8 division 1 use table G instead of exact equation for A so you can use both um, one any one of that if we can use table G also we can use the equation also both the uh, both the way we can get the same result then we see the syntax highlighting in output reports that means if there is an error it will come to the first page itself so that we can correct it then for say ASME section in division on compute K in correlated condition we ticked it because we we require the value of K as a computed then we can check ASME section 8 MDNP option we we checked uh, we used uh, we selected use graphs you can use table also there will no dif there will not be any difference in the output or in the result then we ticked in use MAWP to compute the MDMT so we require that uh, MAWP for calculation of MDMT then if you can ch check that there is a ACME material database we used current year metric constant selection determine at runtime so it is required when there is a uh, as per customer requirement it will change so in the first when you start you will get a notification which unit you are required for this uh, for this design so you select as per that then it is input eco language it is in english then there is a DF dxf option which we already selected that is create bill of material od lines only shown show di all the dimensions insert design data and general notes so it is required then we'll go to the set default values in the set default values it is a diameter finish thickness corrosion allowance which we can set as a default when we are designing the same type of vessel or same type of material so we are not trying to change it every time every time we are getting a uh, new data sheet and we're going to change it so uh, it is better we can set a default value so that every time our work will be minimized so next is the default angular direction and orientation is the north we set as a zero and all the 90 degree 270 degree 180 degree as a as a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction here we selected as a counterclockwise direction then default nozzle database there are four types one is uh, nc imperial nc metric metric standard metric standard r64 we are going to use nc metric here so we can s say it's okay then you can select the unit there are so many default units available in the system in in this uh, pv light system itself we can select for our case is a kg per centimeter square you can check there is a mm, all the all the units are either in kg or centimeter cube or in mm so we can check it is a okay in this session we try to understand how